So here we are at a typical 3D shot. Um, I'm guessing offhand, it's within 30 yards, uh, our typical IBO shot. So we have to judge distance. Um, there's a couple different ways. Um, I like to do it two different ways. I like to find my 20. I've shot so much uh, indoors. I usually can find where 20 is at and then see how much farther or closer it is than 20. Um, another instance is if there was something in the way and you couldn't see the target, you couldn't see the, the feet, or you couldn't see some ground in between. Um, you gotta go off of like a gut instinct. You just see the target, and if you do it enough, a number will pop in your head, and you just gotta be confident and shoot, it, shoot for it. Um, another approach that a couple friends of mine use is they find five yards, and then they just double it, and double it, and double it, until they figure out what the distance is. All right, so I'll step up to the stake. I start with my stance. And I start looking at the distance, um, find my 20. Uh, my 20 looks like it's in front of the target, maybe two, three steps. Uh, my secondary judgment is look at the target, and for whatever reason, it's, it's telling me it's 22, 23 yards. So I'm going to crawl the 22, 23, and just shoot it, just make a confident shot. Looks to be top of the 10. A uh, nice little twist that 3D throws at you is course management. Uh, something a lot of people don't talk about, but it's pretty important. Uh, depending on where you're sitting and how you're doing, uh, if you're shooting really good, yeah, you can keep going after the center. But if you're having a little off day and you're not quite confident, there's uh, certain aspects of different targets that you want to take advantage of. Um, it's like this target here is a little bit higher on the, ten on the eight ring. So you get a little less play. So if I was having a little rougher day or I'm trying to preserve a, a decent sized lead, I might start focusing on the bottom half of the target. Uh, maybe the bottom half of the 11. That way, if I do miss, I'm running a less, less risk running into the five ring um, and just playing it safe. Uh, there, there are some targets where the 10 ring is shifted over quite a bit. We have some targets that on the IBO course, uh, especially the African animals, where we have about a half inch gap from a, a 10 to a, a, a 5. So there are some risks involved going after every single 11. Um, something to think about. 